Hi guys, Tara here. Today, I'm going to read Be Fair and Share. What do you think this story could be about? See the picture? Maybe, listen to the words. Be fair and share. There's something about those words. Did you hear it? Fair and share. That's right, they do sound the same because they rhyme. I wonder how many words we can find in here that sound the same. Before we start our story, who writes the words? That's right, the author, which is Maria Mason. So who draws the pictures? The illustrator. And our illustrator is Laura Logan. So let's see what Maria and Laura wrote and drew inside this book for us. Today is a special day for Cubby. I wonder why it's special. Cubby's friend Monkey is coming over to play after school. Cubby wakes up early and pulls out all his favorite toys. That's a lot of toys, says Daddy. I know, says Cubby. Monkey and I are going to play with them today after school. Cubby carefully lines up his rocket blaster, Rexy the dinosaur, the snowball shaker, the superhero flyer, and his most favorite toy of all, Wolf the stuffed wolf. Then it's time to go to school. That is a lot of toys. Circle time today is all about sharing, says Ms. Elephant. What are some things you can do when two friends want to play with the same toy at school? Oh, what do you think? What could two friends do when they want the same toy at school? Those are good ideas. Cheetah says, Whoever gets to the toy the fastest gets it first. Giraffe says, but after that, the friends can take turns. Or they can play with it at the same time, Hippo and Rhino say together. Those are all very helpful ideas. Great idea, says Ms. Elephant. Toys at school are for everyone, and that means you need to be fair and share. But what if it's your own very special toy? I might not want to share my lovely blankie, says Monkey. And I wouldn't want to share my fuzzy bunny, says Tiger. I think it's okay if you don't want to share a very special toy, says Ms. Elephant. Cubby, is there one toy that you might not want to share? Cubby thinks, but he isn't sure he can choose just one. Oh, do you guys have special toys that you don't like to share? Mm. When pickup time comes, Cubby's daddy walks Cubby and Monkey home and makes them a yummy snack. Then it is time to play in Cubby's room. This is my Rexy the dinosaur, Cubby says. He roars when you press the button on his tail. I have one of those at home, says Monkey. What's that one? 
This is my favorite wolf, Cubby says, picking up wolf. He looks just like a real wolf. Cool, says Monkey. He reaches for the stuffed toy. Cubby holds Wolf behind his back. He likes to stay on the shelf, he says, and puts Wolf back. That must be a very special toy that he likes. Whoa, says Monkey, picking up a toy. Oh, says Cubby, that's my rocket blaster. Cool, can we play with it? Well, Cubby says, I guess so. Oh, how do you think Cubby feels right now? Do you think the rocket blaster is another favorite toy that Cubby likes? Maybe. Monkey sets the toy down on the floor and presses the red button. The rocket flies into the air. Whoa, Monkey yells. It goes so high. Let's try it again. But Cubby doesn't like the way Monkey plays with the blaster. No, that's enough, Cubby says, and he puts the toy back on the shelf. How's it going, kids? Cubby's daddy asks. Okay, Monkey says, but he doesn't look okay. Cubby, his daddy asks, are you sharing your toys? Cubby looks down at his furry toes. I don't want to share. He doesn't want to share, Monkey agrees. I see says Cubby's daddy, and he takes Cubby by the hand and into the hallway for a chat. What do you think his daddy is going to say to him? Maybe. Is it helpful to not share? Let's see. He wants to play with all of my special toys, Cubby says, pouting. It's important to be fair and share when you have a friend come over to play, Cubby's daddy tells him. But if you have a special toy that you want to put away, that's okay too. Okay, says Cubby. Then he has an idea. Into the closet goes Rexy. Into the closet goes Wolf. Into the closet goes the rocket blaster, the snowball shaker, and the superhero flyer, too. Cubby feels better, but Monkey is sad. There are no toys to play with. Hmm, says Cubby's daddy when he pokes his head into the bedroom again. Once again, he takes Cubby gently by the paw into the hallway for another chat. Uh-oh, something is happening. Do you think Monkey is having fun on this play date? No, Cubby says quietly. Do you think you would like being on a play date where your friend wouldn't share any of their toys? No, says Cubby again. Well, is there anything you think you could do to make this play date fun for both of you? Cubby thinks for a minute and then he says, be fair and share. What do you think Cubby's gonna do next? Maybe, let's see. Out of the closet comes the superhero flyer. Out comes the rocket blaster, the snowball shaker, and out comes Rexy. But Wolf stays in. Monkey claps his paws and shouts, hooray! Hey, 
Let's take turns pressing the red button on the rocket blaster, Cubby says. Yay, says Monkey. Then we can see which goes higher, the rocket blaster or the superhero flyer. Great idea, says Cubby. All afternoon, the two friends laugh, play, and share. How would you feel if you went to a friend's house and they didn't share their toys with you? Yeah, me too. I'd be a little sad. How do you think your friend would feel if you had all those toys and you put them away and wouldn't share? They would be sad, right? So be fair and share. You all got this. Well, until next time, bye guys.